Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iPhone 12 battery life and performance on the iOS 16.5. Yes, you are not the only one having issues with the performance and battery life on iPhone 12. My name is Jay and you are watching TechHype. Let's get right into a this video. A lot of people are having heating issues, performance throttling and battery issues on iPhone 12. This issue is more prominent for iPhone users on iOS 16.5 or above. I am on the iOS 16.6 beta right now, but I have been using the 16.5 for a long time much longer than you because i had the rc version don't worry in this video i'm going to talk about some ways to fix this and how i managed to fix most of the issues the performance and battery issues on my iphone 12 after doing these tricks if you do end up watching this video till the end and end up liking this video it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as possible so please hit that subscribe button and now that you have done that let's get right into today's video number one thing is heating and performance the heating issue on my iphone 12 i was getting my device really heated up not gonna lie, uh, my battery health is a bit too bad. It is at 78%. I will get it replaced as soon as possible. That plays a major role in my case, but uh, that doesn't mean that it is just happening with me. The performance throttling and battery degradation, like the screen on time, people are not getting proper screen on time on the latest version. I talked to some of you guys over on my Twitter and a lot of you guys are having this problem. So number one thing that I did, which fixed my performance issue was resetting my device and resetting in not a way like this properly resetting my device and just uh, backing up my data that was not i did something a bit different what i did firstly i cleared up all the cage of my device then i reset in my device and then instead of restoring my device from the mac i set it up my device as a new iphone all right so the reason why people do still have performance issues even after resetting their devices because they restore their device when they're on uh, the setup screen you have to set up your device as a new iphone and then you have to do the restore part because if you are restoring your device when you are on setup screen it will eventually bring up all the old cage junk files and all so set up your device as new device and then proceed to the restore part now right so now the next trick is the battery life yes this is one of the most important tricks because battery life is something which is already not great on iphone 12 you know already so battery is something that is really hard to fix on iphone 12s i'm talking about all iphone 12 because even the pro max does not last that long so the number one trick is resetting your device exactly when you do the first part when you reset your device for the performance it will automatically improve the battery life the end the next thing is trying to use cellular data as less as possible cellular data uses a lot of battery life and when it is possible for you to not use cellular data and use wi-fi always prefer to use wi-fi instead and i have noticed a lot of people do prefer to use low power mode 24 7 believing that it saves battery life actually it does not save any battery life use the low power mode only when required use it between 30 to 40 percent that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode if you did watch this video till the end my name is jay you did watch this video till the end that is really amazing and i really love you for that please hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace